Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here, and we need some school supplies, so we're headed into Walmart, Target, and the Dollar Tree to find the best deals we can. Let's go shopping. Let's start off at my local Walmart. It's not very big, but they did have the majority of the things I was looking for. Now your list may vary depending on the grade of your student and also the school. A few things on my list we'll look at at all of the places, including red pens, definitely highlighters. So here at Walmart, you get six for $1.97. We always need glue sticks. These are the purple and you get two for a dollar of the Elmer's or the Crazy Art, you can get four two packs for a dollar. I found pencils in these fun prints and you can get four packs for a dollar. Now our school does ask that we buy the Techinandra, so we will look at that brand. Fiskars has some really cute sharpeners for a dollar and that is a good brand as we all know. Now Expo markers are usually on our back to school classroom donation list. So I always look for some sort of marker to donate to the classroom. Here are some more highlighters for $2.24. And then they do have the thicker ones by Sharpie. And this pack looks like you get five. We are often asked to donate regular black Sharpies to our classroom as well. They've got a three pack for $1.84. And scissors are always needed. So each student is usually required to have their own scissors. For the older kids, I would probably get them something bigger, but they've got them here at Walmart for $1.47. And again, the Fiskars is a good brand. They've got the Elmers in the larger packs, and then you can get a two pack, so four glue sticks for a dollar. And then they do have these jumbo size three in a pack for $4.97. Here are a few more versions of that little sharpener. Really cute watermelon and a little pink one as well. I actually ended up picking up the red with the sharks on it. Now let's talk pencils. So for our schools, they usually request each student donate one dozen pencils to the classroom for the year. That's from grades five down. Once you get into middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth, you're on your own. You need to have your own pencils. So our school does request the Technandra brand, which can be pricey, but they are a much better quality. They last a little longer. If that's not a requirement, you may want to look at these rose art versions for much less. Regardless of the pencils you use, you're probably going to need some eraser tops and they've got a pack of 25 for 48 cents. They have the pink pearl erasers for $1.46. And I actually picked up these Bic pencils at the Dollar Tree last year. Here they're $1.97. Now, mechanical pencils are really big from about third grade and up, and they've got lots of really good multi-packs. If you can find a coupon to pair with these prices, you will be stocked for at least a good part of the year. Now, let's talk about markers, colored pencils, and crayons. You usually need them from grades kindergarten through fifth, my kids are past that, so this is my first year not picking up the markers, but they do have the Crayola for 97 cents, and index cards are only 48 cents here at Walmart. This is where I usually pick them up. Now, if you don't mind that they're not Crayola, you can get the Crazy Art Markers for 50 cents, and they do have your box of standard Crayola crayons, 24 count for 50 cents. Now let's talk about spiral notebooks. So again, it's something that my kids are sort of outgrowing. I do have one child that will need just a few. And here at Walmart, you can get a 70 sheet spiral bound notebook for a quarter. 
They also have lots of pencil boxes in a lot of colors. This is one area that Walmart did beat Target. They have a lot more colors to choose from and they are all the Sterilite brand for 97 cents. These are gonna be a little bit better durability wise than what you will find at the Dollar Tree. Next thing on my list is post-its. So if you are a person that has to have the post-it brand, go for it. But I'm gonna save my money and get the generic. You can get this big cube for $2.44, or go for the name brand for $4.44. Something the kids have needed around fourth and fifth grade is a little calculator. Here at Walmart, they have them for 94 cents. Now, if your child is taking algebra, maybe starting in middle school, you may need a scientific calculator. Walmart has some really nice prices on some little bit higher quality scientific calculators. Another thing we always need are dividers. Now, I prefer dividers with pockets, so I always scope out the best price on those. Now, these are just the plastic dividers with no folder on them, and that's the best price I found for 47 cents. They have your standard dividers, eight count for $1.44 and a few other versions. This one is just all white with an eight tab divider. And those I believe were $1.47. The 97 cents was for something else. Walmart had the best price on paper at 82 cents per pack and they did have college as well as wide ruled. This is a good price also on the three subject spiral. Those are required for middle school for my kids. Now binders. I will tell you, I don't buy binders right at the beginning of the school year. I wait until we're back in school and we know exactly what they need and don't need. We're reusing a few that I bought towards the end of the year last year, but Walmart definitely has one inch from anywhere from $1.88 up to the two inch, which can run you about $5, depending on, again, the brand. If your child just needs a normal folder, you can find them starting at 50 cents here at Walmart, and the plastic ones a little more heavy for 97 cents. Backpacks at Walmart are cheap, but you get what you pay for. They have them starting at around $15, this middle section is the $10, and they also have a few to choose from for the $5 mark. Now, when it comes to backpacks, I actually look for sales during the year and buy them to keep on hand. This year, we're reusing because they're in great condition. Now, we're off to Target to see what we could find and compare some prices on their back-to-school items. They have just as much set out maybe a little bit more. We're definitely going to look at the glue and here they have a six count for $2.29. They have a 12 count Elmer's glue stick here for $3.49. Now mechanical pencils. This is the Up and Up Target brand and this is a really great buy at $3.49. That would last you a year. Now, colored pencils and the slim markers, as well as the thicker, are all 99 cents here at Target, so Walmart beats them by two cents. They've got the same price on index cards for 100 count. You're gonna pay 49 cents. And here, their pencil toppers are 50 cents, so Walmart beat them by one penny but I do have to say they've got it when it comes to pencil sharpeners. This is a very nice one for 50 cents. Now pencils. So here they've got this same pack for $1.99 of the 12 regular number two pencils. And then they've got their up and up brand where you will save quite a few pennies. 
their pack of three erasers was 149 and they do have a generic version of everything where if you're willing to go the generic route you're going to save so much money at walmart it's sort of the rose art brand here target has the same fiskar scissors without the cover for two pennies more than walmart at a dollar 49 very close and then pencil boxes they've got a ton of pencil boxes and they are the sterilite brand they only had pink or blue now last year they also carried gray again crayons are going to run you 50 cents for the 24 count crayola crayons here they've got the colored pencils the fine and the broadline markers all for 99 cents actually found this price tag down on the floor and they do have the Tecanandra 24 count. These are not sharpened for $4.49. Here for a 70 sheet spiral notebook, you're gonna pay only 25 cents, which is a tie to Walmart. And here they have the Up and Up brand, like I've said, and that's sort of the lower end price of binders. They really do roughly run a little bit cheaper here surprisingly than Walmart. Now I did find some really nice sort of Velcro clothes folders here in the office supply section for my high schoolers. So you may want to check that out. And they were only $12.99. Now dividers. So this set's going to cost you $4.99, but it is a name brand. Over here, they've got the Up and Up brand and you get eight dividers with pockets and it was a little confusing to find the price but I finally figured out they ran $2.99 at Target so that is a little bit better than Walmart. Overall Target has a lot of really cute things but you could spend way too much when you go in there versus Walmart that did not have as many sort of fun purchases. Now backpacks at Target are going to run you a lot more because the majority of them are by Jansport. The starting price for those is $34.99 and I'm not sure if they have any deals on cartwheel right now, but they are going to be really durable. The ones I have for my kids that have now lasted into their second year are Jansport. They have a few more affordable versions at around $25 that are not Jansport, and some more little kid versions for around $15. They also have some more what I would consider laptop or college age bags, ranging all the way up to $50. Now paper. I don't think that this is how much the paper is at Target, but these down here do not have a price. So I'm going to call Walmart the best price. Red pins here at Target are the same as what they would be at Dollar Tree, 99 cents for a pack. And this store had obviously been picked over. There was very little left, but let's look real quick at their prices on highlighters. For this pack of four, you're going to pay $2.09. Then they have the thinner ones by Sharpie, you get four for $1.29. And then they do have this Bic pack for $1.59. Now, Post-it notes, they pretty much only had Post-it brand. So they were more pricey, but they do have the cube here for $4.79. And then they have their up and up generic brand also but it was in a huge package, like these post-its down here for $9.99. Their brand was $9.49. Now let's head over to the Dollar Tree. So when it comes to back to school, there's actually very little that I buy for my kids at the Dollar Tree. There are so many great sales at places like Target and Walmart, not to mention Office Depot and Staples. 
that I tend to just pick up things that I know are gonna be a good price and highlighters at the Dollar Tree are a good price. You get so many for a dollar and it's just something I've always picked up here. This pack of four different colors is perfect for my high schoolers because they do require different colors. Now, dry erase markers are another thing that I always pick up at the Dollar Tree. And they don't always just come in the Jot brand. Every now and then, you will find a name brand in the dry erase markers at the Dollar Tree, like this set of Bic dry erase markers. Now, at this Dollar Tree, I did not find any of the broad line, but they had plenty of the thin to choose from. Post-it notes. It's always something I pick up at the Dollar Tree. You get 250 for a dollar. They also have them in the multicolor. You get 200. Or in the minis, you get 400. And my high schoolers use these quite a bit. And after all, they usually end up in the trash, so I don't want to spend a lot on them. Scissors. I usually find scissors here at the Dollar Tree. And they happen to have the Westcott brand, so that's an even better brand, and you're only going to pay a dollar. They have them in the smaller children's versions and a little bit larger for a high schooler or adult. Calculators. They do have scientific calculators here at the Dollar Tree, and I believe I have purchased one before that the kids have used. We do have some nicer ones as well, but if you're just starting out and your child's interested in seeing how one works, this might be the way to try it out. They also have combination locks if your child has to provide their own lock to their locker. And something I pick up for back to school and keep at home are these little caddies. I like to have one stowed away where the kids do their homework, full of everything they're gonna need so when they get home, they can sit down and get right to business. So are you guys ready? Have you gotten all your supplies? Let me know down below. I would love to know if I'm the only one just now getting to this. I hope you enjoyed this shop with me and I'll be back very soon in the next video.